Hi guys, Irina here and welcome back to my channel where I review everything tech. I'm super excited because finally I'm gonna get my hands on the new Google Pixel 7 Pro. I've already seen all kinds of pictures and reels with the design of this phone, but I can't wait to see it in person, so let's begin. I got my 7 Pro in black. The official name of this finish is Obsidian. Looks beautiful. In the box we get the usual USB-C to USB-C cable, a quick switch adapter, and the usual paperwork with a SIM tool. And finally, let's turn on the phone. I like the design of the last year's Pixel 6 Pro, but I think I like the new Pixel 7 Pro even better. It just feels more expensive because of this metal detail on the camera module. We have the glass back and aluminum frame on this phone. The back looks glossy, just like on its predecessor. The Pixel 7 Pro is IP68 rated, and speaking of the display, we have a 6.7 inch OLED display with QHD plus resolution up to 120 Hz refresh rate and 1500 nit peak brightness. The display has curved edges just like its predecessor, but this time this curve is more subtle. By the way, when it comes to display brightness, I can tell you right away, guys, that the 7 Pro is noticeably brighter than the 6 Pro. Speaking of security features, this time around, aside from the fingerprint unlock, we get the face unlock. And this makes me very happy, I think the more options the better, and I personally find the face unlock more convenient and effortless. The Pixel 7 Pro runs on Google Tensor G2, it has 12GB of RAM with different storage options. This particular unit has 128GB. We have a 5000mAh battery on this phone. Google claims that the 7 Pro is supposed to have a longer battery life than its predecessor thanks to the new chip, and I can't wait to test it out. Let's check out the wallpapers, I'm always curious about the new ones on the Pixel phones. The feathers collection is definitely new. And by the way, these three in the curated culture folder are also new, but if you own a Pixel phone, you should have it too. Just make sure you have the latest update. And when it comes to the camera setup, we have a triple camera on the Pixel 7 Pro with a main camera, an ultra wide camera and a telephoto camera. This time around, we have a 5x optical zoom on the telephoto camera of the Pixel 7 Pro and super res zoom up to 30 times. Also, we get new features like guided frame, photo on blur, macro mode and cinematic blur. I can't wait to test them. And here are some photos and videos I've taken with the new Pixel 7 Pro.
Now let's test the sound quality and the video quality of the front camera on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So what do you think, guys? The starting price for the Google Pixel 7 Pro is $899 in the US, just like for the Pixel 6 Pro last year. Stay tuned for more content with the Google Pixel 7 Pro, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video!